Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are going big on the game hunt. We're off to Vegas, can you believe it? Well, let's see what they've got in store. I'm expecting to find some absolute killer retro today in Vegas. Let's check it out. What? Oh, you thought Las Vegas? Come on now. Do you think my budget can stretch that far? We're off to Baz Vegas, AKA Basildon. Let's check out what CEX in Basildon has got in store today. Whilst we're having a browse through the window, checking out the Pokemon games on the GameCube, and a very nice looking N64 here, and also that Silent Hill, I've got my eye on that one, I tell you that much. If you do happen to like this kind of content, please take the time to consider subscribing to the channel. You're doing us a massive favor and helping us out. And next time I see you out, I'll buy you six chicken wings. So as we saw there, you've got a boxed PS2 pink slim version there. Quite rare them ones considering um, what you see out and about, especially boxed and they do tend to go for more money than your average PS2 Slim. Now straight away I'm seeing some good stuff in the windows which gives me some high hopes for this particular branch today. And also I'm starting to get used to seeing a lot of the stores actually displaying the items outside of the collector's editions. I'm really liking this. It gives you a much better idea of what you're buying and you don't have to go and ask the staff to get it out, uh, have a look at it, etc, etc. Now uh, that Super Nintendo there, definitely got some wear and tear on it. That came from a smoking home. Some solid Mega Drive games here, I will say that much. I do enjoy Atomic Runner, I remember playing that one when I was young. £120 on that one right there. I don't believe I've ever actually played at that Sozil game to be quite honest with you. Apologies if I'm butchering the name of it as well. See we've got a nice solid selection of PS1 games alongside a few Dreamcast games as well. And I like how they've got the Platinum games separate as well. That's always a nice touch when you go into a store. We've got Bug there on the Sega Saturn, £30. I think that's a little bit overpriced if I'm honest with you. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now look at this. This isn't something you see out too often. The Sega Saturn control pad, the circular one. But £50, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't going to be buying that today. I won't lie though, I did think about it as I was browsing the shop. I really do like that control pad. Now so far, this is just the beginning of the inside of the shop and combine that with what you saw at the beginning of the video with the stuff that was outside. There's some real quality items in this store so far and I've not even touched the surface yet. And one of the things I was impressed with straight away as soon as I walked into the shop was how clean and tidy everything was. It's always nice to see and it always makes me feel that much more confident about buying from a particular CEX shop when I see that they actually take care of their displays and their games and their entire setup in fact. I absolutely love both variants of those green Xbox control pads. We do have the electric vault at home, but I wouldn't mind the other variant of the green control pad as well at some point. 
So let's go and look and see what games we've got on the shelves here. So we'll check out the Wii U initially. And strangely, you've got an entire section dedicated to the Wii U. Now granted, the games are facing outwards and uh, you wouldn't have it any other way with the Wii U. It's not exactly uh, a system that had a ton of games on it. But still, it's really good to see a good variety of Wii U games here. Now my sons really enjoy playing this game on the Switch and I think I need to get it at some point. For £2.50 to have it on the Wii U as well, it seems a bit of a no-brainer. So let's check out the Nintendo Switch section and see if there's any uh, oddities for sale today. I do like to have a look around and see uh, a couple of different games here and there. CEX do stop them. You can look online. The more rarer and more obscure titles. It's just finding the particular branches that have them available to buy physically. Although so far today we're not finding anything out of the ordinary on the Switch, it's still pretty good to report back that this shop has still got a really good selection of Nintendo Switch stuff. If you want your first party titles and you want your mainstream sort of sellers, they've got you covered. I can't believe that WWE monstrosity of a game on the Switch is still at such a high price. Now I've been looking at this one for a little while. Not sure if I'm going to pick it up today. I've uh, got limited vouchers so I'm going to check out a few other bits and bobs first. And this one. Did I make a mistake not picking this one up? It looks absolutely ridiculous but I don't know, it could be a good game. Now every time I go out, I do think I see a PlayStation 2 game. Maybe one, maybe two, that I didn't even know existed. And Air Ranger Rescue is one that I didn't know existed until today. We've got Celebrity Deathmatch there. I remember watching that show um, when it first came out. I think Channel 4 showed it for a little while uh, back in the days when I didn't have Sky TV Fightbox, absolutely terrible looking game that one got King of Fighters there really really good game that one Got up to £15. Last time I saw this out in the wild, it was 10 So prices are gradually still increasing on the PlayStation 2. I feel that a lot of people have stopped talking about it because of the influx of 360 titles that are increasing in price recently. It's the system that sort of become in vogue, especially with the Xbox um, 360 store closing down pretty soon. Now look at this, Shadow of the Colossus. And it's in really, really good condition. That's not often you see that variant out in the shops. Well, not in that condition anyway. It comes in that sort of cardboard sleeve variant. So I'm gonna have a closer look at that one before I leave the shop today. Despicable Me there on the Wii. We've got that one at home. I bought it for my son a long time ago and um, I don't know whether or not which is useless, but we couldn't get past the first level. And it's supposed to be a game made for kids. It's 
a lot of singing games on the Wii, isn't it? Now, what with my previous exploits uh, singing, for those that know, I'm just going to put it out there now. My singing days are over. And with good reason. Now this is a game I'm surprised hasn't gone up too much in value. It was £4 a little while ago. Currently sits at £5. That's Resident Evil 4 on the Wii. It is a fantastic port of the game and actually has very, very good use of the motion controls. I mean, I think that's fantastic value for money, £5 for Resident Evil 4. Now this is a really, really nice handheld sort of PC Steam Deck type thing. I've lost track. I'm not going to follow what items and devices come out following the Steam Deck anymore. I know what the Steam Deck looks like. The rest of them, I don't know. And I'm not going to learn them either in all honesty because um, it's the current trend. And I understand why, but not something for me. Nice copy of Metroid Trilogy there. I've never been the biggest of Metroid fans apart from the one on the Super Nintendo, uh, Super Metroid, but yeah, that is quite a sought after game. Got the Tony Hawk's skateboard there lurking in the background as well. Now, like every shop, you've got your variants of your DS's and stuff like that. Some pretty nice conditioned ones, if I'm honest, as well. And I didn't actually know that CEX sold World of Warcraft items. I've never really looked, to be quite honest with you. It's not my thing. But to have them on the display case here makes me aware of it. And also, I'd imagine uh, that game was, and probably still is, hugely popular. So I understand why it's in the position it's in within the shop. Now the PlayStation 4 controllers, they have really, really held their value, haven't they? It's probably due to the fact you can use them on a multitude of systems. But yeah, definitely, definitely haven't gone down in price and probably won't go down anytime soon. What do you guys think? Do you think the PlayStation 4 or the 5 controller is the better option? Now that is a really, really nice PlayStation 4 there, the Uncharted Edition. Um, definitely one for display. Not a bad selection of GameCube games here, to be quite honest with you. Ikaruga there, not one you see too often either. Unfortunately, it's a cover reprinted edition. Quite a few PSP games here as well. Now, I'm sorry to say, but that's not a bad selection of PS Vita games, in all honesty, considering what you do tend to see out and about these days. I love collecting for the OG Xbox, so it's always good to see a variety of stuff there. Uh, Luigi, you shouldn't be there, mate. Now, look at this one. Big Mother Truckers 2. I didn't buy it. Honest. Now 
Now, what is this here? I've never had any interest in this game, but this for £1.50. An absolutely beautiful steel case here. And spoiler alert, I'm not putting that one back today. There's not many more PlayStation 3 games I think that I really want in the collection. So looking around now is a little bit more difficult for me. Got a few on the list that I definitely want. I'm looking for Puppeteer and I'm probably be going to be buying DuckTales at some point as well if I can find it for a reasonable price which probably is going to be impossible. Might just have to bite the bullet on that one and pay the going rate. Okay, let's check out the Xbox 360. Now, you know, there's one genre on the 360 that you don't see too often in CEX stores, and that's shmups. So I'm always looking for the Xbox shmups. Now, I know they do go for a pretty penny, but with that sort of title, I'm quite happy to pay for the quality and, um, yeah, add them to the collection. I just don't see them out that much. Now, although you can see they've got a really large selection of 360 stuff within the Basildon branch, not many bangers here today in terms of like games you don't see too often. Although Golden Axe Beast Rider isn't one you see too often out and about, I managed to pick that one up off of Vinted a couple of months back and I know it got some pretty average reviews and that's probably been quite generous when the game initially came out and pretty much almost killed off the franchise of Golden Axe. We do have a new one in development which is good to hear. I do wish Sega would give us a few more updates on those games that they announced uh, earlier in 2024. Shinobi, Golden Axe, uh, a 3D Streets of Rage as well, I believe. Crazy Taxi. Yeah, looking forward to those games. Always nice to see a little bit of music tech within a CEX. I don't think they uh, price their stuff 
that well on that side of things. Always nice to see it though, um, see what kind of items they have in stock and uh, yeah I'm kind of uh, a little bit behind in the world of uh, music tech these days. Don't follow it too much like I used to. So it's very interesting for myself to see what stuff goes for in these kind of stores. Now I recently made up a little wish list on the CEX app of Xbox One games that I'm looking to pick up. So always digging deep when it comes to this system. Uh, the, the games are so cheap compared to their counterparts that, you know, I'll always buy something on the Xbox Series X pretty much over the PlayStation 5 these days. It's very rare to see a game more expensive on the Xbox than it is the PlayStation. I totally understand why, but as an owner of both systems, it just makes the choice that much easier for myself. Now look at this, wasn't that long ago that this game was 50 to 60 pound and this is the collector's edition or one of the collector's editions and it's only 25 pound. Let me know what you guys think of Tekken 8, I think I've got the majority of Tekken games uh, across the board on various systems. 8 is one I've yet to delve into though, is it worth picking up at £25? going to take the time to apologize for the uh, shaky cam at times during this video. It looks like I've just come out from breakfast in a Witherspoons, doesn't it really? I assure you I hadn't. See? Promise. Now you know what, I still to this day do not own Cyberpunk. I think I need to add it to the collection at some point. Can you imagine buying Cyberpunk in this day and age and sliding it into your console? How big would that patch be? I don't even know if I'd have the storage to actually uh, update it. I can imagine it'd be huge for a first time patch. So I only picked up a couple of games today at the Basildon branch, although I was very tempted by the Silent Hill and I think I might go back for that one once I accumulate some more vouchers. Anyway, like I said earlier, this one I had to pick up. It's an absolutely beautiful steel book. Personally, I don't know a great deal about the game. The previous um, incarnations of the game never really intrigued me that I saw out and about, but I couldn't leave this steel book behind. Very, very nice indeed. And for £1.50, you can't go wrong. And yes, I had to pick up this Shadow of the Colossus today. It's not often you see one of these, 
out and about in very good condition and at this price of £20, I was not going to say no. I've got it on the PS4, had it previously on the PS2, but that's long gone. And in this condition and with everything intact, I had to purchase today. Anyway guys, that was Baz Vegas, aka Bazardon's branch of CEX. Let me know what you guys thought. Was there anything there today that you believe that I should have picked up and that I left behind? What do you think of the games that I did pick up? And what do you think of the shop in general? Personally, I think it's a really good branch. Some really good stock. Everything was really tidy as well. And the staff were really, really helpful. It makes the experience that much better when you've got staff within your branch that give you the time of day. And for that reason, I'll definitely be coming back down here in the near future. If you did like the video, please consider taking the time to subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one.